Do you want to see what fits in the cutest little winter bag known to man? And softest, furriest one? Then stay tuned and I'll show you what fits in the fossil barrel crossbody. First off, uh, I am doing a what fits, even though this might not be available in this fur, it still is available in the natural leather color. So I wanted to do a what fits in case you were interested in the fossil barrel crossbody. And I added the cutest little owl pouch. <laughs> and you can actually put coins in this. And I thought it was really cute for my winter bag and uh, it doesn't quite match the hardware but who really cares and yeah like I said there's the a different color uh, available if this is not available in your fossil outlet because right now it's hundred and forty three dollars if you can find it at the fossil outlet near you <laughs> and here again the front and backs the same it did finally stop shedding because I was sneezing like crazy with all the hair flying. <laughs> so I thought, I'm, I'm allergic to this bag. I cannot keep it. But it actually stopped shedding. I love it with my Amazon extenders. I've worn it a few days. And once you fill this bag up, it doesn't flip. So I wanted to let you know that too. It's real easy to pull out of your car by the top handles. I, of course, had to add my own extenders because the strap is not long enough. So let, let's get into how I packed this little bag and I'll do close up so you won't see my face anymore. But yeah, so I, I like this bag. I finally have my furry bag. I tried a guess one and it had fur on the handles, which started, uh, the threading started going away after like two or three uses. I got a Kate Spade once that was a furry bag and it was a bigger, you know, tote and I just didn't reach for it either. And so I think I really wanted the dark leather with the white cream color. Since I very, I have very few white or cream bags I wanted this color so finally happy with my little fur bag so let's get into what fits inside so, before I show you how what fits in here uh, I just wanted to show you a close-up of this Patricia Nash I thrifted uh, I did a short on what I thrifted I thrifted this Patricia Nash bucket bag and I also uh, thrifted a Marc Jacobs continental wallet and it had white lettering. I'll pop up the picture here. I listed it and the next day it sold. So I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> so that was, <laughs> I got that wallet for $4 and 50 cents and I sold it for with, after the commission of Mercari is where I sold it after, after commission, I made $65 on it or I will once they receive it. So not a bad day's work. Now onto this one. This one is still for sale and listed. Um, there's a little bit of pull on the tweed, not a lot. I cleaned, conditioned. There has four feet on the bottom. I forget the name of what this is called. I'll pop it up here. But it has the cutest little little drawstring that has leather inside the metal, which is really nice. Cinches up. And here is the side, and the back has a pocket. Let me just show you that real quick. And there's the little Patricia Nash logo. I turned on the flash. <laughs> so here's the logo again. Beautiful condition. And I'm not sure if this is a dark navy or black. I still am not 100% on it. But really smooth, nice leather. And here's the chain I was talking about with the grommets super nice and this is for sale so it is on my Mercari and Poshmark if you're interested uh, let me show you the inside real quick and see how it just pulls right there it has a magnetic closure 
Here's the strap. <clears throat> the strap only had one spot on it right here that looks a little rough right here. Now, I don't think it's going to, you know, separate anymore, but there are some cracks right there. And it has this almost silver gunmetal, not not quite gunmetal, but super cute. But yeah, I paid under $20 for it, but I believe it's navy blue strap. I could be wrong. Uh, here's the inside. It has a side zipper pocket. The inside's clean. There's the label. I just saw an ink spot right here, and that's in my photos. And this is the other side. It has two pockets right here. They're that stretchy, you know, material, elastic almost. But yeah, very clean inside. So this is for sale if you're interested in a little cute bucket bag from Patricia Nash. So I wanted you all to see. I love the detail of the chain down here as well. So let me know or go buy it on Mercari and Poshmark. It is beautiful and, and that's tweed with green and yellow and white. Super cute. So now on to what fits. I'll just put that Patricia Nash back here for eye candy. And it does cinch in really good. I just wanted to show that real quick. See? And it stays. Okay. On to what I've packed in this little fossil barrel crossbody. Let me show you it up close uh, so you can see the leather with that fur. Here's the side. It's got leather down the that side and you can tell that this doesn't quite match my Amazon extender but that's okay. And here's the other side. Looks the same. Here's the bottom. No feet. That would have been a nice touch but I got a good deal on this so I'm not complaining. So there is that. Now let's go inside. And these kind of lay flat, but not really. They kind of go <laughs> out like that. And when I wear it crossbody, I just put it back like this. The zipper, once I had it stuffed, it was easier to zip. Not the best zipper in the world. Not like Dooney and <laughs> Louis Vuitton, but it's still, it works good. So this is an overview of the bag. This is what I put in here, and I'll show you a couple other options as well. And this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I did fit it on the side, and it did zip up. So just for your information, it does fit those big iPhones and big Samsung phones. <laughs> I have my Timu mirror that has a light. On one side of it. I have this little leather pouch. It doesn't match really but I needed something small for this and I still wanted to carry my essentials and it is snowing today and I definitely recommend the candy cane. It has a soothing effect on your lips. Love this chapstick. Just lipstick, hand sanitizer, perfume, and Vicks Vapor. The normal stuff I have. The pin at the bottom because I always need one and when I don't have one, it drives me crazy. <laughs> and I did just keep my keys and AirTag out because this is a small bag. It's only like 9 by 4 8 by 4 so you got a limit on what you can put inside. I have a few of these gum things, gum chiclets. <laughs> breath strips and here's the tag again if you didn't see it already and like I said they have another barrel crossbody but it's not the fur it, uh, available I believe I'll try to link anything that I find for you down below <clears throat> I could have actually fit more in here oh <laughs> We found this on the parking lot. 
at one of the places we went to. Not sure that it's real or just costume jewelry, but anyway, that's at the bottom of my bag. Uh, and this, this does fit in there, but I could have probably fit more in my bag if I went with a card holder, but I really wanted to, I really wanted to wear my, my, uh, or use my Shearling little wallet here. <clears throat> and that is all, and here's the tag up close, fossil, just that brown li linen interior. I like that this wallet, when it opens up, it's the flat version. Sometimes I don't like the ones that are just open this wide. I I like it when I can see. And I can put cash under here, change, cards. This is another air tag that I have and a library card. And that is it. And a nice little pull. Again, I'm not sure if I got this at Target or at Walmart last year or the year before, but super cute, especially for winter. So that is what I put in here. I also wanted to show you, I could have put in my other fossil wallet, no problem. <clears throat> I could use this one, it, since I downsized the wallet, I could use my small boxy case from Coach. But see how much room that takes up. <laughs> so if I were to put that in there, here's my Louis Vuitton key, six key ring holder. Yeah, I don't, I probably could fit that. Again, it's just how you want to pack it, but I'm just showing you that it's very limited on space. Then see if the phone fits. I'm not even sure now because it's too bulky. Yeah. You'd still have to leave off the the key holder and just throw in your keys at the bottom. So that would still work if we did the phone, wallet, boxy case, keys, zip it up, and that fits too. So just a, a couple of options there for you of what, what could go inside this cute little barrel crossbody. I hope you enjoyed this what fits, what's in my bag, and uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Do you like the Patricia Nash? Are you going to buy it from me? <laughs> I almost want to keep it a little bit. I don't have any Patricia Nash bags, but I'm, I'm trying to downsize a little bit of my collection. <laughs> So I'm also a reseller uh, as well. So anyway, yeah, tell me how you like my little fossil here. And then if you are interested in this, we could probably work something out. Let me move the camera up. Because it is really cute uh, bucket bag. It's probably, yeah, it's about nine by nine. It's not huge, which is on trend really. I mean, it, and it holds a lot, so it's like probably five deep in there at least. So, yep, let me know down below what you think of my, my thrift find and what fits in my my fossil here. And uh, again, don't forget to hit the bell because that will alert you of my new videos I pop up. Isn't this owl cute? <laughs> Squirrel, no. And it is snowing, so I... I'm still going to probably carry this, but I'm not actually going anywhere. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate you watching and thank you again for all my new subscribers. I want to say hello and also to my OG subscribers. Thank you for supporting my channel and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.